What's up guys? It's Rena. Welcome back into another my and welcome back into another one of my 2J Swap series videos. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start digging into this thing, torque these camshafts down, and check our clearances. All right, so last time I left off on the 2J build, I had placed the camshafts and everything all in there. Oh. Uh, I always drop shit. So yeah, last time I left off with you guys, um, I had placed the camshafts and everything in here. So we're gonna go ahead and lube everything up and get everything uh, torqued down and installed the right way. There's a whole procedure for it. I'm just gonna be following the service specifications and everything for it from all data because that is what GSC says to do. And I am running GSC cams. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up the service procedure on my phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift up all the caps and everything, get everything greased with some nice engine assembly lube. Ba, 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 ba. 2,000 years later. So I'm back. I lubed everything with assembly lube and then I also went in with some, um, just like my little oil squirt and I just squirted a whole bunch of oil all over everything as well because we don't like it dry. No, we do not. Nobody likes it dry. <laughs> so now I'm going to refer to my Toyota service information on all data now for the cam cap uh, torque sequence thingy it says to start with these second cam caps so all of these and then the back ones as well so if you're doing this that is e3 i3 i7 and e7 so i'm gonna go ahead and just start spinning these bolts in to get this seated down in there with my 10 mil on my ratchet so let me thread these in by hand first because we do not want to cross thread this no we do not Ooh, it's making squishy sounds. Let's just move this a little bit so that the pin is lined up where it should be. Excuse me, I need you to, I need you to line up. Okay, so now the pin is aligned. All right. Okay, and now this one. Spin these ones in in the back. You know, I see some people using like guns to do this. Personally, I'm not doing that. I'm using a ratchet. Oh, I just whacked that. This takes so long, my arm getting tired. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Says to do it snug to the head. Okay, so that's snug, and now that's snug. Back ones, cool. So now that these caps and these caps are all snugged up with the head. Okay, so now it looks like they want us to put the camshaft seals in there. Where's my sealant at? Right here. So now, here's our brand new camshaft seals. OE, of course, OE is best for seals. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox, well, I un unbag, unbox, I don't know. I got seal one and yeah, seal two, Wee. So hopefully you can see what I am doing now. Uh, as you can see, we've got our camshaft seal right here and I've got my nice genuine Toyota sealant. <laughs> it actually shows you putting the seals in without the caps on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the seal in first. It does say to apply grease to a new camshaft oil seal lip. Okay, I'm gonna grab some of this grease that's on this camshaft cap bearing that I got right here. And we're just gonna put it on the outside of it right there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and press this in. Just like that. Make sure it's flush. And then I'm gonna do that same thing that I just did. My other seal and my lube for the intake cams. Wipe the remainder on our pants as always. And press this on. All right, then it says to apply seal packing. This, it's just sealant. So we're gonna take this and it shows me on here where to put it on the cam caps. I'm just gonna apply it to the very edges portion of these caps. So, oh, that was a lot. Okay, can you guys see what I'm doing? And so the arrow facing forwards is gonna be how we're gonna put it down like that and press it down onto that seal. I'm gonna tighten these bolts down just by hand. All right, so now we have our other cam cap. I'm gonna go ahead and take these little Allen's out. I don't wanna lose those. Like that, lube that bitch. Wipe it around with a fingy. And wipe the rest on our pants. Okay, same thing on the other side. Flop down the other cam cap. And seat it down in here. Yep, perfect. Tighten these little bolts down. Just like I did with the other one. Grab the Allen's. I gotta work fast with these and snug these down because the sealant only lasts for so long before you have to redo it. Cool, so now these two caps are on there, nice. Uniformly tightened 14 bearing cap bolts on one side and several passes in the sequence shown. 
And I have a little diagram on here. And 15 foot-pounds is the torque spec for them. All but these little Allen bolts, which are 44 inch-pounds. So I'm gonna go ahead and torque these down. You ready for the beeps? Everybody love the beeps. So now I've got my torque wrench set to 15 foot-pounds. Boom. So I'm gonna start with these caps. And one, two, one, two. Okay. And then we go to three fours are on the backs. Five six is right here. Okay, and then we got eleven twelve up in these front ones. And then thirteen and fourteen are our last ones right over here. So the front caps that we put the silicone on. I just went to go check and I forgot about the Allens that go in here. Those also have to get torqued, duh. So I have to torque those to 44 inch pounds. I'm gonna grab my hex real quick. Can I even go that low? 44 inch pounds? I don't think I can. Well, my torque wrench only goes down to 60 inch pounds, so I'm just gonna watch it. <laughs> I don't wanna snap those off. I heard they snap really easy. I don't wanna do that. 44 and 44, cool. All right, so these are torqued down. They say to use a special service tool, which I do not have. We're gonna push in these two oil seals. It says to push them back as far as they can go. So I grabbed two flatheads and we're gonna go ahead and push these seals back. Yeah, these don't wanna go anywhere. Am I just not strong enough? Do you have to like use brute force for this? I feel like you shouldn't. I think they are as far back as they can go. I don't wanna risk it though. I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna stab myself with this thing. Mm. Should I like lightly tap on it? I don't have the special service tool. Toyota, I don't have it. So I'm, I'm working with what I got here. All right, I'm gonna use the back of my pocket screwdriver, which is just like this flat little magnet thing. And I'm just gonna lightly tap all around on these seals. And we'll see if that'll do anything. Yeah, this seal doesn't really look like it's going anywhere. I think it's as far back as I can get it already. Yeah, I don't really feel it moving anywhere, but I'm just gonna do it on the other one just to be sure, just in case. I mean, they're as far back as they're gonna go, so. <laughs> okay, after that, it shows a diagram of both of these little camshaft pins being straight up, like, uh, not vertical, horizontal, vertical, vertical, vertically. So it shows both of the pins going straight up at like zero degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and rotate the camshaft with my lovely, super state-of-the-art uh, tool right here. Uh, hello. I might need to get my locking pliers, to be honest with you. Yeah. So I got my locking pliers now. I also grabbed a little rag just because I don't want it to like dig into the cams. Okay. And we're gonna spin this until this pin is straight at zero degrees vertically. Mm. Oh, yeah, I'm just weak. Why do I have to have noodle arms? <laughs> I need you to go right. Okay, this is gonna be a process. Okay. There we go. All right, so you can't see it really, but this pin is facing vertically. It's going straight up, it's at zero degrees. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with other camshaft. Get this pin lined up straight as well. Ooh, nice little, uh, <laughs> nice little hole right there. <laughs> oh, another one. Oh, okay, nice. Uh, why am I weak, bro? Okay, spin. That's not spinning, hello, can you spin? And spin. Oh, don't do that. Why is this such a struggle for me? <laughs> you know, if I had the right wrench, this would be so much easier, but I don't. Please, please. Okay, no. Okay, you know what? Fuck the cloth, fuck the cloth. You ho. There we go. Well, that worked a lot better without the cloth. Now that both the pins line up after literally dying. <sighs> ah. Fuck you. Okay, now after literally dying, trying to get the camshaft spun because I don't have the right wrench, <laughs> the pins are finally lined up vertically at zero degrees. So now we move on to our next thing. <laughs> so now it says to go ahead and loosen the 12 bearing cap bolts as shown, and it's got little arrows to which ones that need to be loosened. And then it says loosen them until they can be turned by hand and then retighten in several passes. Back to 15 foot pounds. So we're gonna go ahead and loosen the ones that it says to. So that is gonna be these front ones, upper ones, five, six, seven, eight, and then these one and this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and loosen these. 
Okay, so that's all 12 of these loosened. I can move them all by hand. It says to retighten in several passes. Back to 15 foot pounds. Would you come off, bitch? Get your ass. Get off the torque wrench. Get. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay. Okay, it says retorque in several passes. We're gonna do 15. Kablamo. It doesn't really say a certain pattern. So. It says to use several passes, so I'm going about halfway. I'm going to like eight foot pounds on both sides, and then I'm just finishing it off. That's several passes, right? <laughs> Okay, now that everything is torqued back down, we will move on. Turn the camshaft, a third of a revolution, it shows me 120 degrees. So those the front facing pins that were at that vertical, like zero degrees, they're now going 120 degrees clockwise. I gotta use the vice grips and clamp on the camshafts again to turn them. Yay! Oh, I threw them, huh? Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna clamp onto these camshafts, turn these pins 120 degrees. Okay. Bitch. Thank you. Was it that hard? Was it really that hard? <laughs> Didn't I do that earlier? Dumb bitch of the year award goes to me. Do not slip off. Do not, do not, do not, do not, do not, do not. Do not sell marijuana to my husband. Okay, get down, get down. You know, there's some times that I really hate being a weak ass bitch. This is one of them. <laughs> yeah, it's cooperating now, okay. Yep, okay, cool. Now the other one. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> not again. No, I'm not gonna do that again, huh? Spin, bitch. For any of you that are wondering, you know, I'm really not that weak. It's just I have beefy springs. I'm blaming it on the springs, so yeah. Almost there. Okay, how about there? Let's check. Yeah, yeah. Boom. All right, now, I bet you it wants me to loosen some more caps. Yep, loosen the eight bearing cap bolts as shown. So we're gonna go up ahead and break those loose and then retighten. So the exhaust, break them loose. Now those are all loosened and we're gonna retighten in several passes to 15 foot pounds. Again, back on the torque wrench and then eight and 15. All right. Yep, and it wants me to spin them again. Spin them again. So it says to turn the camshaft next, another further one third of revolution. So that's another 120 degrees from where they are right now. Here we go with the locking pliers again. <laughs> Perfect. Yep, loosen eight more bearing caps. And then retighten in several passes back down to 15 foot pounds again. Now that I have, uh, you know, fucked with the camshafts a whole bunch and we got everything all torqued down how it should be, I'm gonna go ahead and check my valve lash, which is very important. So I have my failure gauges here. For valve clearance, we have the intake cam between 0.15 and 0.25 millimeter, and the exhaust cams, the clearance should be 0.25 between 0.35 millimeters. I'm gonna go ahead and slip these in here, go ahead and check our uh, clearances. So we're gonna start with the exhaust. If you don't know how to check your valve clearance, essentially all you do is you take these feeler gauges between your specifications and you should be able to slip them in between all of the camshaft lobes and the buckets, or I guess the shims on the top because these are shim lower buckets, but you know what I mean. So I'm just going to go ahead and slide these feeler gauges in there accordingly, make sure that they all fit and the clearances are correct. So I'm going to start with a 0.25 millimeter on the exhaust. So our valve clearance is good, which means that the machine shop did not fuck up when they <laughs> did my buckets, which we like. <laughs> my little 0.25 millimeter feeler gauge in there, so we are all good on that. I'm gonna go ahead and bust out my smallest one for the intake, which is gonna be our 0.15 millimeter. And we're gonna take that feeler gauge and we're gonna go ahead and slide it down on these buckets as well. So there we are. Yep. And 
Yep. Okay. Beautiful. All right. So that is the end of the video for you guys today. The next video, I'll be going ahead and taking all these parts behind me and throwing them on there. So we're talking the cam pulleys. We're talking the VVTi gear. We're talking the alternator, the water pump, the oil pump, timing belt, all that fun stuff we're going to do in the next video. I hope that this video was helpful for anyone that is also doing this or wants to know how to do this. So there you guys go. I will see you guys next week when we're dressing the motor and peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Adios.